Hello, it's Sam from Sam Munoz Consulting. I am a WordPress developer, Divi nerd, and creator of the Effortless Website Kits. In this Divi Quick Tip tutorial video, we are going to be walking through the Divi Contact Form module. We're gonna talk about how to update the settings, how to add new input blocks for your cool, awesome contact forms, and how to make it look just the way you want it to. So let's hop on in. So I've already added a contact form module to my page. So in case you haven't done that already, you'll go ahead and click on add new module and you'll type in contact form. You'll select that. And then now we'll just hop right into the settings. So the very first things I wanted to go through were these text, email and elements and redirect settings. So for the text settings, you can set the title of the contact form. Typically, I leave this blank because I like to add my own title block using a text module, but you can add anything you want. So you can say contact form. This next part is your success message. So when a visitor successfully submits a contact form, they will receive a message. So something like, thank you for contacting us. We'll get back to you soon. So this will just display right there when they click submit. And speaking of submit, you can also change the submit button text, so the button that shows up on the contact form itself. So we can change this to get in touch. The next setting you're going to want to add and update is the email setting. This right here is very important. So by default, the contact form submits to whatever the admin email is for the WordPress site, but I like to specify it very clearly in each contact form. So in case I want one contact form to go to one email address and one to go to another, I have that set up already. So you can add in your email address here and then the message pattern is just the way the email is actually sent to that email address. So if you click on this little question mark, I feel like it explains it really, really well. You can define a custom pattern for the email message. I normally leave that blank and I just let it go with the default one. Next, when you click on elements, you can select the toggle to display or not display the captcha. If you're finding that you're getting a lot of spam on your contact form, you would probably want to display this. Um, otherwise, you can just turn it off. Redirect um, allows you to change the redirect URL if you want one. So instead of sending people just to that success message on that same page, you can actually redirect them to another page. So if you wanted to upsell them, if you wanted to try to get them to book a call with you, things like that. So you can set that redirect URL right there. So moving on to the design settings, here is where you set all of the design settings for this particular contact form. These are very similar settings to all of the other module settings in Divi, so you can change things like the text color, orientation, add a shadow, all sorts of things. Change the way that the title text shows up if you have a title. Update the way the form fields show up using this design block. Update the buttons if you want to have a specific button look for this particular contact form. So on and so forth. So you can go through all of these different design items for the contact form. I personally like to make my contact forms look super simple. And I have some code that I just throw into the back end of my site using a Divi Child theme. And I think someday I will supply that code through another post. So now beyond the design and the content, we definitely want to make sure that we know how to add new fields to our contact form. So the way you add a new field is by clicking on this add new field plus sign. Then you specify a field ID. This is what would show up on the back end for the admin user. It can't have any spaces, can't have any special characters. So if, for example, we want to make a field for services, so we want our users to be able to select which services they're interested in, we'll call this field services of interest. So again, see how I did not put any spaces. Hopefully I can spell that correctly. There we go. <laughs> and then we add a title. So this is what is shown to the end user, which will see the contact form. So which services are you interested in? Question mark. Next, we want to set up the field options. So this is where we can select the type of field. So an input field is just like a text box. Email field obviously requires them to put in an email address. Text area is like a big fat text box. Then you've got checkboxes, radio buttons, um, which the difference between those two is a checkbox they can select multiple and a radio button is just they can select one. And then a drop down is actually similar to what we see here. So in this case, uh, they might be interested in more than one service, so I want to give them the option to check a box. So we can type in here all the different services we offer. And because Divi is awesome, you can always rearrange these if you decide, you know, I really want to highlight this service or that service or I don't want this one anymore, so I can just delete it, things like that. 
I would typically, for this case, I would make this a required field because I definitely want to know what they're interested in. And then you just click the check mark and that field is now added. Again, Divi's awesome, so you can easily drag and drop these if you want them to add their service in first. If you don't want them to have a message, if you just want them to tell you what service they're interested in, you can do that there. Okay, so now this is done, this is ready, I can click the check mark and then I can go ahead and preview my contact form. So here you can see it has all the different fields, a name, email address, message, and then which service they're interested in, they can select that there. Again, you can change all of the design settings and make it really look and feel the way that you want it to, but this is how you set up the contact form in Divi. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the effortless website kits that we have on our website because they all come with amazing contact forms already built into them. We utilize Divi. We use all the power of it to really make amazing websites that are easy to update, easy to change, and grow with your business. So you can check that out at effortlesswebkits.com or samanthamunoz.com kits.